Hello dear student and all viewers welcome to the channel English Literature and Investing a channel for literature lovers the current video is about structuralism in linguistic structuralism in linguistic was introduced by Ferdinand de Saussure Saussure introduced an entirely new attitude to linguistic approaches and this linguistic approach later found philosophical and cognitive aspect sashur in his course in general linguistic described the structure of language in relation with the reality the basis of his thoughts focused on the relationship between the signifier and the signified structure what is the purpose of structural analysis of the language the purpose of the structural analysis is the revealing of the deep structure of text structuralism is based on semiotic that is the theory of signs on semioticians believes all of the system are made up probability signs as an example it may be pointed out to a driver who reacts against the green light on a traffic signal the green light means go so let us see what actually structuralism in linguistic is stay with me and keep watching please Ferdinand de Saussure said in his book Course in General Linguistics A language is a system in which all the elements fit together and which the value of any one element depends on the simultaneous ex- coexistence of all the others Structuralism in linguistic is a descriptio and dichotomy approach to the analysis of language the key points in linguistic structuralism are the following number 1 sign which is a combination of signifier and signified long and parol syntactic versus paradigmatic relationship and synchronic versus diachronic study of the language number 1 sign a sign is the combination of signifier and signified that is it depends for its meaning on the whole structure which comprise of signifier and signified a sign is any individual unit of a language and the signifier is the word sound or image where is the signifier is the conceptual meaning that comes to our mind sign the sign is the whole structure that result from the association of the signifier with the signified whereas signifier is a form which the sign takes and signifying is the concept it represent the relationship between the signifier and the signified is termed as signification a linguistic example the word dog when it is invested with meaning by someone in a specific context is a sign consisting of a signifier and 
are signified. When the word dog assigned is used for some meaning in some context, then it becomes the signifier. And for example, the word dog in this case is a signifier. And what is a signifier in this case? Dog signifies a four-legged carnival, carnivorous animal as its lexical meaning or denotational meaning. But there are other meanings associated with the word dog in different culture. For example, in our culture, dog symbolizes greed or quarrelsome. Whereas in many cultures, dog signifies helpfulness, guidance, protection, loyalty, fidelity, alertness, and love. So, a single signifier may uh, give a multitude of signifiers. The next topic in linguistic structuralism is long versus power or a theoretical linguistic dichotomy. According to Sasho, language is a complex phenomena in which two levels can be discounted. For example, lang and pero. What is long? Long is a French word which encompasses the abstract system rules and convention of a signifying system. It is independent of and pre-exist the individual user. Long denote a system of internalized shared rules governing a language's vocabulary, grammar, and sound system. It involves the principle of language without which no meaningful utterance or parole would be possible. And what is parole? The term parole means speech. In linguistic structuralism, parole means both the written and spoken language as experienced by an individual in everyday life. Parole designate actual oral and written communication by a member or members of a particular speech community. So there will be only one long, but there may there may be as many for all as the number of the speaker of the language. And for all and long together make the structure of language. The next topic of this video in structuralism is syntagmatic and paradigmatic relationship. What is syntagmatic relationship? These relationships are about positioning, that is the arrangement of signs together in a sentence. A syntagmatic relationship involves a sequence of signs that together create the meaning. A fundamental term in linguistic originally introduced by Ferdinand de Saussure to refer to the sequential characteristics of speech seen as a string of constituent in a linear order. These set of syntagmatically related constituents are often referred to as structure. Look at this example. Came at an apple. And in the next sentence, the order is reversed. An apple was eaten by Kim. 
so meaning are created through the linear order in which signs are arranged together let's proceed to our next topic paradigmatic relationship what is a paradigmatic relationship this these relationships are about substitution a paradigmatic relationship involves signs that can replace each other usually changing the meaning with the substitution a paradigmatic relationship a sign is replaced by another sign from the same class of the words for example look at these sentences angela came on tuesday came when on wednesday asad arrived on thursday noam visited on friday rebecca left on saturday sentences angela has been replaced by kim asad noam and rebecca the word came has been replaced by went arrived visited left and the tuesday which is a noun has been replaced by other nouns such as wednesday thursday friday saturday and so on the next and the last uh, topic in this lecture is synchronic versus diachronic linguistic this is a theoretical dichotomy about language analysis sashu preferred synchronic linguistics or diachronic linguistic what is synchronic linguistic it is the study of language at a particular point in time this is the branch of linguistics which attempts to study the function of language without reference to earlier or later stages to analyze and describe how language is actually used by a group of people in a speech community the main focus of synchronic linguistic is on analyzing grammar classification and arrangement of the feature of a language now to define diachronic linguistic what is diachronic linguistic diachronic linguistic is the study of the history or evolution of language it studies the historical development of language through different periods of time in this kind of studies comparative linguistics and etymology are included these are the main sub field of diachronic linguistic dear students and all viewers hope you have a clear vision of linguistic structuralism now in the coming videos i will clarify it more and more keep watching my video please stay blessed thank you for watching